want to vlog this 2023. So first day of December today, the first thing I've got to do today is sort out the two new patterns that I'm publishing on Ravelry and my website. It is the um, shawl that I've designed. I've got one here. I've got all the stuff out. I've been doing tutorials video in yesterday and I need to finish editing those tutorials. So this is the shawl pattern that I'm publishing today. This is the nest box shawl and I'm also going to be updating the pattern um, later in the year or early next year to actually include panels to make it into a blanket because obviously because this is um, at the end of the day when you've joined three diamonds it makes like a hexagon shape it will need to be straightened at the edges to make a blanket so I've got some different pieces of sizes pieces um, to knit to make it into a blanket so I need to be I need to have that test knitting as well so if you are interested in test knitting the blanket version of the nest box shawl do let me know if you email me on crafthousemagic at gmail.com um, if you're interested in doing that. It is a big job though if you're going to do a sample piece um, it and takes up quite a bit of yarn as well. So anyway I've got that pattern and also the Rockin' Robin sock pattern. Ta -da! Which has got these robin feet at the top of the sock with a doubled over cuff. So that one is going to be published today as well. Both of these are actually written for fingering weight and DK weight yarn so I don't know whether to list those as two separate patterns but have the information for both if that makes sense so that people can see that it's DK and fingering weight but I've got to deal with that later today. Lots of laptop work today. I've still got my tripod and everything on the table where I've been recording videos yesterday for little tutorials for these um, patterns so that it sort of holds your hand step by step so I've got to sort those editing the videos out um, put the patterns on Ravelry and on my website and I've got lots of other little bits and bobs jobs to do today on the computer mainly I'm also going to be releasing some sets um, to do this version of the nest box shawl and some sock sets to do the rock and robin socks as well so those are going to be put on the website um, so lots to do so I better get on with it. Jensen has gone to toddler group with his dad this morning, so it's like nice and quiet for a few minutes. <laughs> at least till lunchtime anyway which is good um so i can have a bit of peace and quiet while i get doing some editing um but i do have a little bit of footage that we took last night so we went to the local drayton light switching on sort of ceremony which was it was lovely because all the kids were singing christmas carols and when the lights were turned on everyone was cheering so that was really nice and they did a bit of a countdown um when it just before it was turned on we had some hot dogs which i didn't actually take any footage of but that was really nice um it's nice to support sort of local small businesses um, and it was just nice to see everyone getting together, even though if it was quite a small little ceremony. So before we went out, Jensen was so, so cute putting on these mittens that I'd knitted for him. I'll have to, um, if I can remember what the pattern is, I'll pop them in the description bar down below. But he was being so cute and really pleased about wearing his new little mittens. Well, I knitted them last year, but they actually really fit him well now. Um, and the hat that I'd knitted him last year as well. Um, and it was just so nice to see him pleased about being cosy and warm. If you notice in some of the footage that I took last night, you can see Adam is wearing one of Jensen's hats because Adam has got a tiny little pea head. <laughs> I wouldn't have let him wear it if he was stretching it out too much um, and it's the lovely hat that Claire made because he forgot to put his hat in and it was really cold and we got two of Jensen's hats in the rucksack so Adam got to wear one of Jensen's hats. There's no way I would have fitted in that hat because my head is massive compared to Adam's. <laughs> 
you can see that the light is a lot less now because it's nearly four o'clock already. I don't know where the time's gone. I've managed to put the sock patterns and the shawl patterns on Ravelry and um, my website. So that's all done. I've put some kits for the, the big shawl um, with the 30 blocks on, um, which is this one in the shop as well. We have listed some sock sets for the Rockin' Robin but there's only a few of these and I'm going to put um, a pre-order for another batch um, but you can order whatever sort of base you like and that will be shipped um, on or before the 15th of December but I will try and get them shipped out earlier it's just that I'm waiting for another batch of dye to come so I can dye another batch of those so there's a small batch of those ready to ship um, so I'm really pleased I've managed to get the patterns all on the uh, online and the tutorials online as well it takes so much time to do these things it's ridiculous I've been doing it for several days as well sorting out the tutorials and making sure the pattern is sort of tweaked um, to my satisfaction satisfaction sort of thing so that's all done so I'm very excited about that the only thing I've got left to do is post some pictures on social media about the new pattern release and I think I'm pretty much done today fingers crossed I don't think I've got anything else on my list I've got a list of things to do here in my little notebook um, it. Wow, I'm actually managing to finish at maybe five o'clock, we shall see. <laughs> so I did actually switch to my jumper, this is the Magnolia Bloom jumper that Adam's mum knitted for me and it's in like a really chunky weight yarn, although she used two, two, um, two strands of fingering weight yarn and two strands of fluffy yarn in the rain colour way that I dyed um, and held it all together which was a bit of a nightmare to be honest so I would suggest you actually used like a chunky weight yarn to be honest because it was very fiddly having four strands she was not very pleased <laughs> when she'd finished it um, but I love this pattern so this is by Camilla Vad. Um, so this is actually something I've been wearing quite a lot lately because it's really nice and cosy. You can see the red t-shirt I've got underneath it actually, um, which is actually quite nice. It's slightly Christmassy, isn't it? Normally I try and wear sort of like plain t-shirts underneath, but this one's got a bit of a pattern on it, which would be better if it was just red. I should have known it'll take longer than I thought. It is now half past six. And I'm still doing <laughs> videos and things. I've just got to put an email out to everybody just to announce that there's going to be yarn for the Rockin' Robin sock pattern and the kits for the the, the actual shawl as well. Um, and just link in all the videos that I've uploaded. And that's it for today. So this is my advent calendar that I designed and dyed up for this year. It's the Rockin' Robin theme. And I've chosen a 20 gram BFL version um, to keep for myself. And it includes a little drawstring bag I've hand printed myself. And then this particular version is 24 days, but I did offer a 12 day one as well. Um, I also offered several other bases, a merino and nylon, a Stellina version, a, a DK merino, a, and also a non-superwash Highland wool fingering weight and DK version as well. This is today's colourway, but today I included a cute little progress keeper which I made myself with little footprints from Robins. So today's colourway was inspired by Hi by the Lighthouse family. You can see that there's going to be a theme in the names of the songs that inspire these yarn colourways. So for this year's advent, I purchased the advent from the little grey girl and it was the Nutcracker theme. And there's a lovely selection of little extras in the middle. Some popcorn, which is Christmas pudding flavoured. A bird and blend tea bag, gingerbread chai, which I love bird and blend teas. So I'm excited to try that and some eucalan as well. I'm opening the first day, which I'm so excited to see what colour it is. So this year's advents, I haven't got a chocolatey one this year, just because I'm trying not to eat too much chocolate. Plus, we haven't got our Christmas decorations out yet because we're waiting for our boiler to be done on Monday and Tuesday so I'm just waiting for all that to be done before I get the Christmas decorations out. So this is an advent calendar Jensen. It has a little door for every day in December that goes up to Christmas right and you have one every day so you only allowed one today okay you're listening? Yeah? 
Let me now. Hang on. You've got to write. You've got to open the the right one. <laughs> You're exciting. I should have took the plastic off. Right. We're going to look for number one. Can you see a number one? Yeah, you can. You clever little boy. Right. We're going to open this one here. Oh, it's difficult. Can you pull it? Oh, look! I'll help you. It's a bit... What is it? What is it? Oh, look! Can you get him out? It's very difficult to get out. It's what is it, Jensen? A bear. It's a bear. Yeah. You clever boy. So every day you get a little toy. You, you can't open any more today. Not today. We have one tomorrow. So this one's for today, okay? So Jensen is asleep. Yes. So now it's time to open the toy advent calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Adam loves a bit of Lego. So you've got a Lego advent today. I have another Harry Potter Lego one. So I'll open number one. And it's Harry. Oh, lovely. That's a good start. Well, there he is with his hood on. Ta da! So, we're a bit late doing our socks of the day today. Adam is wearing the Dennis Fu pet socks, and the pattern's by Nicola Susan. And these are a really unusual shape, actually, and they're quite a nice fit, weren't they? And they're in, I think it's some River Knits yarn. This is a little while ago since I've knitted those. And I'm wearing, the socks underneath are, I put a spell on you, yarn, my own hand dyed yarn. Um, and I just did a simple top down sock. And then the, I've got the rounder slippers on. Um, and they're the ones I've actually finished recently since the last podcast with the bobbles on. So they're the rounder slippers by Anna Haino. And I knitted them in some Let Lopey. And they were knitted um, just recently, actually. I've just finished them. Although I do find the fit isn't the best because the very heel bit is a little bit sort of pointy. But as I've worn them a bit more, they're sort of working around my foot a little bit, which is good. But I do like these little bubbles on the top. Well, you can't see them as well because they're in a black yarn. But there we go. My feet are lovely and cosy. Poor Adam hasn't got his slippers on. Although I did knit you some, Adam. Where are they? They're in my drawer upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to knit a little bit on... Hello, Adam. Hello. I'm going to knit a little bit on this sock tube. My mum started this off and I'm just doing the rib on the end because she'd actually just knitted right till close to the end of the yarn. So I ripped back a bit and I'm just knitting some ribbon on this one. And this is some Patton's Croy. So I'm just knitting this tube, casting off, and then I'll be cutting this into a pair of socks. And these are gonna be for my dad as well, because we're busy trying to get loads of socks knit for dad, because he's only got a couple of pairs. So I'm gonna knit that and watch some Vlogmas videos. Um, but I think that's not gonna be all for today. And I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>